come, my son. We must hurry. This is but a flesh wound. Dong Zhao is leading more Wei reinforcements from the northeast. This is getting worse by the moment. We have to get out of here. You believe your wits are a match for mine? Do anything if our formation is broken. Regroup at once. Why has Wu betrayed us? Because it suited us to do so. Surrender now and face death like a man. You would turn your back on honor for personal gain? That is unforgivable! Lend me the strength I need! Lord Guan Yu's movements are so slow. I fear his injuries are serious. Go no further. Lu Xuin, I leave the rest to you. Oh, aren't you all fired up? We will try to keep up with you. I have taken control of this area. were here, I know that he would be proud of me. Okay, now's the time to show you the man. Come on. 
It's Lord Guan Ping, he's... He's been killed! No! I won't allow that to happen anymore! I finally get to fight with you. And now this. We must fight on. To honor your name. Shuren have already surrendered to us. Do not waste our time. So it's true. Jiang Ling has fallen. My brother's dream has been dashed. Fight me now! For glory! Fight again. If my father were here, I know that he would be proud of me. We must hurry to my castle. Strength I need. 
as Lu Xuan said, prepare to die! The Wu army still has some men with a head for strategy. Retreat! This is not the end! 
If my father were here, I know that he would be proud of me. You believe your wits are a match for mine? I knew you'd come here. I will be your opponent. Lord Guan Yu is being pursued on all sides. They see his death as an end to Lord Yu Bei's vision. My lord, you must keep him safe. Show the enemy, show the world, you have the power to lead. This is one battle we must win at all costs. Remain focused. I need to accomplish. I shall withdraw for now. If my father were here, I know that he would be proud of me. <laughs> oh, aren't you all fired up? Let me try to keep up with you. Lend me the strength I need. <laughs> to retreat is not necessarily to lose. I'll put a stop to them. Now, close the exits to my castle. You're out of luck, Guan Yu. Fight me now, for glory! Lend me the strength I need! father were here, I know that he would be proud of me. You have more fight left in you than I thought, but it will take more than grit to get out of this. Retreat! This is not the end! Lend me the strength I need! I shall return! Remember that! For yours is the first head I shall seek!
Come, Father. We must escape. My son, you must stay alive, live, and support your brother. What are you talking about? And give my lord and Jiang Fei a message for me. Tell them I'm sorry I broke my promise. <laughs> Farewell, my son. I have always been proud of you. Due to the treachery of his supposed ally Wu, Guan Yu was slain in battle. And in an instant, the bond so carefully formed between Xu and Wu through Sun Shangxiang's marriage were torn apart. Meanwhile, the tides of change were swelling within the Wei camp as well. Cao Cao, the hero of chaos, died and was succeeded by his son Cao Pi. Following in his father's footsteps of conquest, Cao Pi demanded the Han Emperor abdicate the throne and declared himself Emperor of Wei. In response, Zhuge Liang advised Liu Bei to stake his own claim on the throne. He reminded Liu Bei that he was an actual descendant of the Han bloodline, that it was his birthright. By doing so, he could label Cao Pi a traitor to the country for having deposed the Han Emperor. However, Liu Bei remained undecided for he was still haunted by the death of Guan Yu. Yes. We must defeat Wu. But Cao Pi is the true threat! What is the point of attacking Wu? What point? You... How dare you say that? Avenge Guan Yu's death. What other reason do we need? I'm sorry. I bring news! General... General Zhang Fei! He has been killed! By his own men! What? The traitors have taken his head and fled to Wu! For the first time in his life, Liu Bei decided to start a war rooted in hatred. Joining his sworn brother in the afterlife, Zhang Fei also passed away. The sworn brothers who had pledged to die at the same time had nearly fulfilled their oath. Meanwhile, Wu, who had betrayed Guan Yu and also killed Zhang Fei, still stood. Liu Bei brushed aside the pleas of Zhuge Liang and his other retainers, determined to launch a large-scale military campaign against Wu. Liu Bei's hatred, sorrow, and malice whipped through the sky above Yiling, signs of the impending storm. This battle would not be for justice, nor virtue, nor for the people. With a heavy heart, a pair of eyes looked upon the army of Shu, which had been transformed by vengeance. 
It was Zhao Yuan, the brave warrior who had fought so many battles alongside Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. Vast numbers. The sorrow and anger that our Lord is feeling must be great indeed. But right now, he does not have any sense of perspective. He may resent it and even decide to push me away. But if I don't keep him safe, then I will be dishonoring my great forebearers. Now! I must go to him! I challenge any and all comers to test me!